Both crashes snarled traffic for hours. News 8's Lancaster County reporter Caitlin Smith talked with the people in charge of directing the traffic. It's longer than the typical workday. From around 6 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. Guys are out there, they get cold, they get hungry. They get rained on and they worry about getting run over. The job of a fire police officer is important, but it's technically not a job. We're strictly volunteer, and that's that's the bad part. I mean, that that's some of the reason why I think we're not getting getting guys knocking on our door to to come in. To be a fire police officer, you have to be a member of a fire department. Some departments don't have any. Lafayette has two. So when it got two crashes at one time, it knew it needed help. Overall, everything went according to plan. In part because for the first time, it called upon the Lancaster County Fire Police Task Force. About 15 members showed up at a moment's notice from miles around. That's 15 out of 50. It's hard to get the guys, get all the guys out at the same time. But if if we had a, if we had another 50 that that we could depend on, it would help. As far as equipment, it's up to each volunteer to bring his or her own. This is what Gerhart brings to a scene. He says it's really hit or miss, and he'd like to see that change with the traffic management trailer that would serve the entire county. That's going to be loaded with, with cones, barricades. All the supplies necessary to get you where you need to go safely, provided there are enough volunteers to use them. Our guys ain't getting any younger. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8. The traffic management trailer is expected to be available by the end of the month.